Now let's suppose we have an expression a plus b multiplied with c and we have to convert this expression to postfix. So for conversion of the infix expression to the postfix we will take an operator stack. In the postfix evolu evolution we used to take operand stack here we will take operator stack. Let's say we are designing a table to perform this conversion. So the symbols we have are a plus b multiplied with c and from our side we will consider that the last symbol is dollar. But the rule says, the conversion rule says, if I have an operand, I will add it to the postfix expression directly. And if I have an operator, an operator stack is empty. Initially, we will have the empty stack. So if the stack is empty, push the operator on the stack. And then we have operands, add it to the postfix expression operator let us check the precedence so if we have an operator the stack is not empty that's why i'm checking the precedence so if a stack were empty i would have pushed this symbol on the stack but since this stack is not empty and uh, we have one symbol on the stack we will check the precedence so we check the precedence of stack top stack top means plus over this operator which is multiplication and this precedence is false now rule says if my precedence is false I will push this operator on the stack so plus was already there I will push this multiplication sign also on the stack then I have C which is an operand added to the postfix expression then dollar means the end of the expression we do not, do not have any more symbol so if we do not have any more symbol, pop the stack one by one and add the symbol here. Pop the stack one by one and add the symbol to the postfix expression. Now this is the answer of the in postfix uh, conversion. It means I had an infix expression and we have found the postfix expression. Fine. Let's take one more example. So the expression is a raised to the power b multiplied with c raised to the power d minus e. So this is the expression and I am going to convert this expression to postfix. For this let's take symbol postfix expression. then a stack which is an operator stack and a precedence function. So the symbols are a raised to the power b multiplication c raised to the power d and minus and then e. Last symbol from our side is considered as dollar. A is an operand so add it to the postfix expression exponent stack is empty push it on the stack rule says if the stack is empty push it on the stack B operand add it to the postfix expression multiplication sign stack is not empty stack has one symbol so let us check the precedence so we will check the precedence of stack top symbol which is exponent over this multiplication sign this is true so in the case of true I will pop the stack in case of false we used to push it on the stack in case of pop, uh, false we will pop it on the stack pop it from the stack so pop symbol is exponent and add this exponent to the postfix expression now the stack is empty the rule says if the stack is empty push the symbol on the stack so multiplication is the symbol push it on the stack now C we will add this symbol to the postfix expression then exponent 
we should check the precedence stack is not empty so precedence of stack top stack top element is multiplication sign and the symbol is exponent this is false in case of false we will push this symbol on the stack then d a b raised to the power c d then minus sign let's check the precedence i will check the precedence of stack top which is exponent over incoming symbol which is minus which is true in case of true i will pop the stack and will add the symbol to the post fix expression so pop symbol will be exponent and then since this was the true this is new thing coming for you because this this uh, answer of uh, precedence is true we will once again see the precedence since we have more symbol on the stack so by the time the precedence is true we will keep checking this precedence so we are checking the precedence of multiplication stack top element is multiplication now over the symbol minus which is once again true so we will pop the symbol once again so multiplication is popped and added to the post fix expression and now the stack becomes empty so since in stack has become empty we will push this symbol minus on the stack and then my e is the symbol add it to the post fix expression then dollar indicates there are no more symbol on the stack so since there are no more symbol on the stack we will pop this all the symbols in the stack one by one and will add it to the post fix expression there is only one symbol minus so add it to the post fix expression and this is the resultant post fix expression so the rule says that we have if we have false precedence push it on the stack if we have two precedence by the time it keep coming true it keeps coming true we will pop the symbols from the stack and will add it to the post fix expression meanwhile while checking the precedence if the precedence becomes false or the stack becomes empty we will push the symbol on the stack now let us try to write this algorithm so we are writing the algorithm in fix to post fix conversion and uh, given is the infix expression so in this uh, uh, algorithm what we are taking we are taking an op uh, operator stack so let's take a stack and the name of the stack is operator stack op stack let's initialize this stack such that it has no symbols initially and then uh, while we have the inputs from the infix expression we will keep taking them in one symbol so while not end of input from in fix expression do take the symbol in let's say some symbol variable so symbol equals to next input character from in fix expression let's identify if the symbol is an operand or operator if symbol is an operand let's push this symbol sorry uh, add this symbol to the post fix expression so add the symbol to the post fix expression else so we are assuming that in our expression we have only the operands and the operators so if this is an operand we have already added to the post fix expression if not then it certainly it is an operator so if the op if we have the operator and uh, stack is empty fine if uh, we have the operator 
and the stack is empty so if the stack is empty push that symbol on the stack so this is the op stack push the symbol on the stack now if st if a stack is not empty let's say the stack is not empty so if the stack is not empty we will have to check the precedence if the stack is not empty we will have to check the precedence let's say the prcd function is checking the precedence and uh, we are finding out what is the stack top symbol so from the op stack we have found what is this stack top symbol and we are checking the precedence of stack top over th this symbol so if this precedence is true stack is not empty and the precedence is true it means both the conditions are holding at the same time it means stack is not empty and the precedence is true we will pop the stack so we are popping the op stack and pop symbol is added to the postfix expression fine so if a stack is not empty and precedence is true we will pop the stack and we'll add the pop symbol to the stack uh, to the postfix expression now we are if if uh, the stack is not empty again after checking this precedence and popping the symbol we will once again check the precedence and if this is true we will once again pop the symbol and we will add to the postfix expression it means this entire thing should be in a loop because we are repeatedly checking the precedence functions okay so instead of writing if here we are writing while so while this condition is true it means neither the stack is empty nor the precedence is returning false it means stack is not empty and precedence is returning true we will pop the stack and we'll add the pop symbol to the postfix expression fine so uh, let's say the stack becomes empty means empty is returning false in that case two of the and in any one of the and conditions becomes false it means this becomes false if this becomes false we have to come out of this loop and let's say the stack is not empty and this precedence is returning false in that case also we have to come out of this loop because this is there is an and condition both the condition should hold uh, true simultaneously so if the stack is empty or the precedence is false we will come out of this loop and we will push the symbol on the stack fine and we will look for the next symbol so by the time we have the symbols we will keep checking if that symbol is an operand we will add that to the postfix expression if not then if this is an operator we'll do this and once we are finished with the symbols there will be some of the symbols which will be remaining on the stack so let's pop those symbols one by one and add those symbols to the postfix expression so while not empty op stack do pop the symbol pop the stack and add pop symbol to postfix expression fine now once this entire operation is completed we will return the postfix expression Thank you.